Hello and welcome to our first tutorial on programming iOS 5. It's a complete beginner's tutorial, it assumes no previous knowledge whatsoever and we're going to be using Xcode 4.2. Um, when you first load Xcode you're shown this splash screen. Welcome to Xcode and from there we can create a new project. From there it will give us a list of templates that we could use. We're going to use a single view application for this one. And we're going to be building the obligatory Hello World app. So for the product name, we'll call it Hello World. Company identifier is just usually your web address but it's spelled backwards so in this case com.ios5 programming. Class prefix I always put the same as the product name and device family for the moment we're going to be using iPhone but there is an option to do it for the iPad or as a universal app. We're not going to be using storyboards. Automatic reference counting is a memory management tool brought in in iOS 5. We will use that. So we'll click next there. It'll ask me where I want to save the project. I'm saving it in a folder called YouTube Tutorials. Click create and that'll Put all the files in that place for me. Okay, so Xcode's loaded. Our files are in something called the Navigator on the left hand side. These are all the files associated with our app. To show the interface builder how we're going to make the app look. We need to click on a file called the nib file, spelled here dot zib. So click on that, that'll load it in the center of the screen. And what I'll do here is just hide the navigator by unchecking that button there. It gives a bit more space. And here we can see a graphical representation of our single view. So the first thing I'm going to do is move in a label, which is a piece of text. And as you can see, when we get onto the screen, it gives us some guidelines. That will center it. And if I double click on that label, I can name it whatever I like. In this case, we'll call it Hello World. To there and we'll just recenter. Now with that selected, the label selected, we can go into this menu here, the attributes inspector, and there is our text. So if we wanted to edit it, we could obviously double click back in the label itself, or we could do it here and we'll change hello world to hello Xcode. And enter there. Now we could change the font if we wanted to, we could change the size if we wanted to from here. Uh, all we're going to do here is change, change the text color, which at the moment is black. If I click on there, and I will change it to a nice yellow. Click on that, and our text is yellow. Now, not very viewable against a grey background so what we'll do is with the view selected and you can tell the view selected because we have the whole blue line going around it again in our attributes inspector there's the background we'll click on that and we'll change that to red and there we go red background single label saying hello Xcode if we run this app now, compile and run it, this is exactly how it will look on the screen. And we can prove that just by doing that now. When we click run, that will compile and run. It's going to be using the iPhone 5 simulator. Again, we could use an iPad simulator, but in this case we'll use the iPhone one. That's compiling the project and it'll bring the simulator up in just a moment. Build succeeded, that's what we like to see, it means there's no issues, no errors. And 
here's the simulator and there's our app and that's exactly how it would look on your phone. Now we can rotate this to show a landscape view uh, which would be the same as if we actually um, tilted the phone around and we can do this in the hardware menu and we can rotate it left or right well there's the short command there so if I just rotate that you can see our label is no longer centered it's unaligned, it's come out of there to get that in the center we would need to change something in the size inspector so what we're going to do is just do that now if I press stop that'll stop the program stop the simulator we'll select the label again in our interface go to the size inspector which is next to the attributes inspector and there's two struts here well I call them struts, I don't know what the actual name for it is um, if I unselect that top one you can see the difference there, it's no longer anchored to the top if I take that one out from the left that label's no longer anchored to the left so now it's going into the center correctly so when we rotate the device that label will also rotate and rotate to the center and we can prove that if we rerun so we'll rerun the project it'll rebuild it it also saves when you press run And there we are, there's our hello world. And if I rotate the device, you can see the label stays in the middle. Okay, so we haven't achieved a great deal. We've just done a hello Xcode, hello world app. It's the first thing anyone ever makes on an iPhone when you're programming for iOS. And there's our version of it. So in the next tutorial, we'll look at doing some user inter interaction, a bit of functionality, and we'll, like, we'll add a button that the user can press and it'll give us some kind of action based upon that button. Till then, thanks for viewing and I'll see you in the next video.